I believe that physical training is incredibly important for today's MMA athlete where the evolution of the sport now has, has resulted from a, a number of huge revolutions. The first revolution when MMA came to life, it was jujitsu. All of a sudden, a smaller man, a smaller, perhaps weaker man, could beat a much bigger opponent using technique. But then when everybody started to learn that technique, other techniques started to come about where the Olympic wrestler came in and then the world-class striker came in to where today the evolution from those revolutions is that, man, you've got to have all these techniques. So with that being said, what's the next revolution? And I believe in MMA, it's physical conditioning. Or else being equal, let's say you and I both have the same technique, but I'm way more physically fit, I have a better opportunity to win. And maybe I'm way more physically fit and I don't completely have as much technique, I still might have a better chance to win. So physical fitness is now becoming the X factor with a lot of these athletes. One of the key characteristics that every athlete has to have physically is something I call relative body strength. So how strong an athlete is for how much that athlete weighs is critical to performance and nowhere more important than MMA because it's a weight class event. The days of the 300 pound guy fighting the 170 pound guy are over. Now it's 270 pound guys where which guy is stronger at his weight, which guy is faster at his weight, and that relative body strength is directly related to that. So a lot of the movements, the ones that mimic movements of animals, they're really exercises in relative body strength.